All right, moving on to question five, or oops, question four. Uh, it says, select all expressions that are equivalent to negative 3.75 plus two parentheses negative 4x plus 61 minus 3.25. All right, they put in some decimals here, uh, a little bit more of a longer expression, uh, but still kind of the same idea as the ones we've been doing before. So this is honestly just the exact same thing where it's just testing whether or not you can do order of operations. Um, since we've been kind of just using PEMDAS, uh, let's go ahead and just keep using PEMDAS since it's kind of what we're getting used to. So let's go ahead and do PEMDAS, so parentheses, exponents, uh, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Uh, if you want a way to remember it, uh, a lot of people remember it as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's kind of a way to remember it. Um, so yeah. Uh, so either way, we've got PEMDAS, and let's go ahead and uh, apply PEMDAS in here. So let's start off by doing the parentheses. Do we have parentheses here? In this case, we do. We've got parentheses right here. We've got the negative 4x plus 6.61. In this case, can we add a variable with a number? Hopefully you said no, and in this case we cannot do that. So what we're gonna do now, since this parentheses is next to a number, we're gonna to have to do the distributive property since we can't add those things together. But before we get to that, let's just go ahead and continue with our PEMDAS. All right, so parentheses, we can't do anything about it, so it's just gonna stay there for now. Next, we've got our exponents, which if we look at our equation, there are no exponents. Next, we're gonna do our multiplication. In this case, do we have any multiplication? Yep, we do. The multiplication is part of the two here because we have a number next to a parentheses. We're gonna go ahead and do something called the distributive property, which means since this number is right next to the parentheses, this number, two, is gonna multiply everything inside the parentheses. This is called the distributive property. Again, when you have a number, let's say like two, right next to a, right next to a parentheses, everything inside the parentheses gets multiplied by the number outside, just like this, two times one, two times one. So if we're looking at this one over here, we're gonna have two times negative four x and two times 6.1. So we can go ahead and work that out. So I'm gonna, let's see, bit of a tight space here. Let's go ahead and see if I can switch this over here. So we're gonna have just a tad bit more space to, hmm, that doesn't work. Let's see, maybe if I go ahead and do this, uh, duplicate, well, that doesn't work either. All right, well, we're just gonna have to kind of work with what the little space we have here. So let me go ahead and write this down over here. We've got negative 3.75 plus uh, whatever we're gonna do with the parentheses. So all of that plus uh, negative 3.25 x. Mm, maybe I should give myself a little bit more space. Mm. Well, I can just erase this, right? Plus negative 3.25x. All right, and let's go ahead and start working it out. Uh, let's see, let's start off with what's two times negative four x. That's negative eight x. Plus, now we gotta do the next one. So we did two times four x, now let's do two times 6.1. Well, what's two times 6.1? If you're not sure what it is, you can work it out the big old, the old fashioned way, which is just doing it by hand. So 6.1 times two. What's two times one? That's two. What's two times six? That's 12. And now we've got the print, we've got the decimal moved one time to the left. So I'm gonna move it one time to the left right here down for my answer. So the answer is 12.2. All right. And now we can continue. 
So now we're going to go ahead and move on to division. Let's go ahead and continue with the uh, PEMDAS method. So do we have anywhere with division? In this case, we don't. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to addition, which this problem kind of has uh, addition littered everywhere. So again, I wanted to make it a little bit clear on what we can add together. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight um, the numbers. So in this case, we have negative 3.75. I'm going to highlight that orange. We also have 12.2, which I'm going to highlight orange. And I also want to highlight the variables in red. So I'm going to say negative 8x and then negative 3.5x. And now we're going to go ahead and add these together. So we have, let's start off with the uh, numbers, 12.2 plus negative 3.75. All right, a bit tricky, but we can work it out. Let me see. So 12.2 minus 3.75. I'm going to just work it out real quick. Well, let's go ahead and fill this in with a zero so we can work it out. Let's see, zero minus five we can't do, so we're gonna go ahead and borrow from the two. That becomes one, this becomes 10. 10 minus five is five. All right, next one, one minus seven, we can't do that. So we're gonna go ahead and borrow from the two over here. This becomes one and this becomes 11. 11 minus seven is four, bring down the decimal. Now 11 minus three, we can't do that, so we're gonna borrow from the one. This becomes zero, this becomes 11. 11 minus three is eight, and so this becomes 8.75. All right, so the numbers are eight. Oops, let's write that a little more pretty. This is 8.45, wait, was it 8.45 or 8.75? I think it was 8.45. I guess we'll double check when the answer comes up. We gotta compare it either way. So this is 8.45 uh, plus, uh, let's see, negative 8x plus negative 3.25x. All right, starting really small. Uh, but if we go ahead and compare that to the answers we've got, uh, we can see that that matches up with this one. So that's one of the ones that matches up. And let's go ahead and keep going. Since it says select all expressions, that doesn't mean, that means that there could be more than one answer. So we need to keep going, check if another answer works. So this is our first answer. Let's see if there's any more. Next thing we gotta do is add the variables together. So that's negative 8x plus negative 3.25x. Um, to save you the time, let's, uh, well, I guess we should do it. I'm going to just write it right here, negative 8x, well, I'm just going to add the numbers together, negative 8 plus uh, negative 3.25. So let's see. Uh, well, I need to add something here, so I'm going to add some zeros here, just so I can add. All right, let's see. Uh, 0 plus 5 is 5, 0 plus 2 is 2, 8 plus, I'll bring down the decimal, 8 plus 3 is 11, and so then it's going to be negative 11.25. And so this is negative 11.25, which if I look at my answers, matches up with this one right here. Wait. Actually, it doesn't match up with that one. Hmm. Oh, I see. We got 11.25x here, which matches up with this. But then where does the 12.2 minus 3.75 come from? Well, that comes from over here. So if I were to redo this, just to make it a little more clear what's happening here. Oops, let's go ahead and decline that. What happened? Okay. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. So what's happening here is that they added the variables together. Which are the ones in red, negative 8.x plus negative 3.25, which is negative 11.25. And then the orange stuff, they just left it, they let it be. 
So you have negative three, they have, oops. They've got a 12.2 minus 3.75 minus 11.25. And that's kind of where uh, this stuff came from. So then the fourth one would be the one that matches up. And then if I double check the first and third ones, those are definitely not it because those are different equations than these. All right, so hopefully that makes sense.